Listen, good morning to you. Call down fire on them or burn them? Just asking a question. Uh, Luke chapter 9 and verse 52 says, And sent messengers before his face, and they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, will thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them even as Elias did? But he, that is Jesus, turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. For the Son of Man uh, is not come to destroy, uh, to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. God has to be very careful uh, with how he trusts us human beings with power. Because power corrupts. And many times we want to use power uh, to benefit us or at our whims and fancies. Uh, now, all of a sudden, when we get power, uh, we think uh, that we can use it to glorify self as well as to put other people in their place. But we notice in this example uh, that the disciples James and John, the sons of thunder, uh, they wanted uh, to bring down fire on heaven uh, on the Samaritans. Why? Because the Samaritans looked as if they were not going to welcome Jesus Christ into their community. Let me ask a question. Is that a reason for bringing down fire upon a community? I say no, and Jesus Christ rebuked them and said, No, I, Jesus Christ, I didn't come to destroy. And so they went to another village. Uh, now, please understand uh, today, uh, that many times we are in situations uh, just like the disciples. And if people seem to have a different agenda to us, or a different attitude to us, or differ in views to us, uh, we want to say, let fire come down from heaven and burn them, get rid of them. That is not the Christ-like way. Christ rebuked the disciples. Uh, now, in a personal way, Sometimes this gets political, and those who are not of our political persuasion, uh, we may want to destroy them. And I'm not talking about people in the world alone. I'm talking about people in the church also. Let us understand that Jesus Christ rebuke us when we want to bring down fire from heaven and to destroy those who disagree with us or those who do not welcome us our opinion. Let us understand that. Uh, please understand uh, that we sometimes, even in our simple family lives, uh, when this attitude of, I have a different view to you, uh, we want to bring down fire on whoever has a different attitude to us and say, burn them. No, that is not the Christ-like spirit. Uh, sometimes a husband wants to do it to his wife and sometimes a wife wants to do it to her husband uh, because he or she sharing different view that is not the way uh, sometimes uh, people go to the divorce court bringing down fire from heaven on their partner i heard of one case where uh, there was a settlement and the judge said uh, that the gentleman uh, needed to sell a vehicle uh, that cost about $20,000 and uh, split it in two and give his wife half and he take half. And because he just wanted to make sure she pay fire from heaven on her, uh, he made sure he sold that vehicle for only $50 and give her $25 and he took $25. You see how far we take it? Uh, so I am saying today uh, that Jesus Christ showed us very clearly that we cannot live our lives by being adversarial or by being arrogant or against those who do not share our view. Christian believers and friends, 
Sometimes we witness to people. Sometimes we show them God's way. Sometimes we show them the Bible way. Sometimes we show them the way to life eternal and, and, and everlasting life. And the people don't accept. When that happens, there are situations where I know people say, Hey, they're going to burn in hell. Oh, you know that. You don't know that. Still treat them as kind as possible and do not ask for fire to come down on them from heaven. Do not ask to burn them because in another instance, you may have been just as stubborn as that person who doesn't accept now. Let us be Christ-like and understand that Jesus Christ did not come to destroy and we too in our earthly relationships with family members and with whoever, workmates, etc. We must be willing to treat people nice. Let me use a simple word. Treat people nice and be willing to forgive instead of asking for fire to come down from heaven and burn them. Lord and Father, our Creator, please give us the Christ-like spirit of love in dealing with our fellow men and in dealing with our neighbors and in dealing with our family members so that life can reflect that you are leading us. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you. Humble me, humble me, humble me, humble me, humble me, humble me, and I do thy will. Humble me, humble me, humble me, humble me, and I do thy will.